when I think about the pandemic, it was a really quite a weird time for me. Um, I am a new mum. I've got a two and a half year old toddler, a little redhead, definitely Scottish, um, and she was a pandemic baby. So having a pandemic pregnancy was really weird. Um, I was in my second trimester working in uh, the office that I was working at at the time and I remember my boss coming through with a box and I thought oh man I'm, am I getting fired what's going on here and the government had just uh, released an update to say that if you were pregnant um, due to the ongoing risk of COVID-19 you were to go home and you were in the shielding category so basically two months before Matt leave that was me uh, working from home worrying a lot uh, and yeah really just feeling anxious about the whole situation i had kind of built up in my mind what it would be like to be pregnant and having a baby shower and having people feel my bump and a lot of folk now when we look back at it are like were you even pregnant because <laughs> we didn't see a bump so um, even though it probably was overkill when I look back on it now I started like so many other people did to really get online and use social media whatsapp and all the various ways of communicating digitally so that everyone was along for the ride with me um, because I still wanted to share my excitement um, but in amongst all of this uh, our wonderful NHS got me a good health visitor who had kind of picked up on my appointments that I had some more kind of sinister things going on with my anxiety. Um, I'd always suffer from anxiety, like from my mid-teens, I'm a natural born warrior, um, but there was just like a series of behaviours that I was forming that had been aggravated by the pandemic. Things like anti-backing door handles, anti-backing my hands, um, showering vigorously after going to appointments because obviously you have to go for various checks and stuff when you're pregnant and it became like apparent quite quickly that I had a contamination fear which is not ideal when you're in the midst of a global pandemic um, so eventually I got uh, diagnosed with OCD at the time uh, it was pretty awful but looking back on it now the timing of it was good because although um, the things that I used to get an like anxious about, for example, was leaving the house, have I switched the cooker off, the lights off, are the windows shut, could a baddie get in the window? Um, I didn't have to think about all the other things that uh, gave me palpitations because we were staying indoors all the time. Uh, so maybe it was a good thing that I got the diagnosis when I did because now I'm so much better for it. Um, it was definitely odd having a couple of video calls with a psychiatrist. I didn't really think I would be doing that after I had a baby. Um, but yeah, it definitely made me healthier uh, in the mind, which is good because I want to be the best version of myself from a little one. People talk about the newborn bubble when you've had a baby, so it often bursts when you have like an influx of visitors to the house wanting to meet the newborn. Because we couldn't do that, um, I guess it allowed us to be like in our wee bubble for longer. Um, and also my partner was furloughed, so instead of him only really getting two weeks paternity leave. He had nearly two months, so it was nice to have that extra bonding time. Bye. Recently, my daughter had her first parents' night, so weird to say, at nursery, and they were really impressed with her like communication and her language skills, and I think this in part is due to the fact that basically from day zero like as soon as she was earthside we were reading like reading is something that always has kept me calm and I read quite a lot of books through lockdown and so did she the way that I filled my time in the first six months of mat leave because I was off for a year was going for daily walks and I was reflecting upon this like in preparation for this recording and 
I was saying to my mum the other day, like, isn't it weird how much fresher the fresh air was? Like, there was less traffic that you could, you didn't see like haulage lorries and like big vehicles polluting the place. It was just so much quieter. And anytime you did spot a car, you always thought, oh, is that a COVID car? Like, where are they going? Like, should they be out in the car? Um, so, yeah, everything was basically a lot cleaner. There was less litter. And people were a lot friendlier, so when you were out on your walk, for all I was scared of getting too close to people, it was nice to like say hello to uh, neighbours and like people from further afield in the community, which if we'd been kind of leading our normal busy lives, we maybe wouldn't have had the chance to do that. In the hospital, it, as it was really weird giving birth and having everyone around you with a mask on and you're the only one there without a mask on making a racket because obviously you're having a baby. Uh, so yeah, that was a strange time, but it was nice, like, in the last six months of my mat leave when lockdowns were getting more relaxed, I decided it was time to kind of put my superhero cape on and start getting out into the outside world because I, I was really worried that Hannah was going to end up being a bit strange uh, with people uh, and luckily she wasn't, she's a social butterfly like me so the first time I took her to the play park was down at the low green in Irvin and then uh, as I got braver we went to Eglinton Country Park and it, it was just amazing seeing her not within the confines of our living room uh, getting dirty okay that's anxiety inducing having OCD but like jumping in puddles, climbing and stuff, like playing with other kids, um, it was amazing. Uh, I mean really when I think of the timeline it was probably during right at the end of uh, my mat leave that she would have been walking and tumbling about but just to be out in settings seeing other kids was just amazing because you, I think when you've got all that time to procrastinate you just worry am I doing this right? Like, So it was nice to be in the park and see other mums. My most enjoyable edible experience, shall we say, during the pandemic was when uh, my partner had said, right, come on, let's go out and get a takeaway coffee. So one of the downsides to having my type of OCD is that I became really obsessive over packaging. Is there COVID on this packaging? Do I need to wipe it? What if I put it on my mouth, then kiss my daughter? Will she get COVID? And and the spiral goes on so yeah one of my favourite kind of go-to tray bakes is the very Scottish Empire biscuit uh, and they always had really good ones down at the Harbour Arts Centre there's a, a cafe down there at the Harbour side in Irvine so we put Hannah in the pram stomped down there uh, we got it takeaway like I don't even think there's a takeaway hatch there anymore but that was something that kind of hospitality venues started to do to try and get business up and running again so I got a coffee and a cake the first time I've had a proper frothy cup of coffee made for me in over two years and yeah it was a delight and the biscuit really was the size of my face I remember looking at my daughter as I was eating it and she was just grinning from ear to ear and it was just one of those moments that I'll remember forever um, but yeah I guess the disadvantage now is to not wearing a mask is because I keep having said Empire Biscuits, I can't hide my double chins anymore.